Hi everybody, it's Neil and today I'm going to talk about uncountable nouns. And these are words which, nouns, which you cannot count in English. And maybe in your language you can count them. And mistakes with these are quite common. And I'll tell you a few examples. So maybe the example will help you remember the correct word to use. So example number one, you're on a date, okay? And you're flirting with your date and you're like, I love your hairs. Did you get them cut today or styled? And your date on the other side of the table is like, um, thanks. Do you mean my hair? My hair, right? Not my hairs. Because hair is uncountable. The hair on your head in English is uncountable. So in English we say hair. but we don't say hairs, okay? So we say hair, I got my hair cut, or I got it cut, it's, it's not countable, and grammatically it's singular. So, you know, if the hair falls out of your head, then it could be countable. So if you're in a restaurant and, and, and you see, you know, hair in the soup, then you might say, Waiter, there's a hair in my soup. But that, in that example, it's countable. But in the example of hair on your head, it, it's uncountable. It's hair. Okay, so let's move on to example number two. So imagine you are an international politician or businessman and you're in Brussels and you have an interview with a journalist and you want to make a very important point about education. So you say to the journalist, excuse me sir, in your country your government has not made many progresses with education. And the journalist might say, I think you mean much progress because progress is uncountable in English. Progress is uncountable. So like hair, you cannot say progresses, okay? And also you cannot say many progresses because many many goes with countable nouns. You can't say much progress if it's a negative sentence. You can say much progress. And this would be a negative sentence. And then in an affirmative sentence, you could say a lot of, a lot of progress or a lot of hair. If it's affirmative, then you can say a lot of. Okay, the third example that I want to tell you today, that I hope this helps you remember the correct words. Imagine a new person starts in your office and you, you want to help this new person. So you say, come over here. You know, I've been working in this company for 30 years. If you need uh, information, or if you need an advice, you just come to me, okay? And that new person might say, oh, okay, um, thanks, I might need information or advice, I don't know about an uh, information or an uh, advice. 
because information and advice are also uncountable in English. So, again, you say information but not informations. And you say advice but not advices. And because they're uncountable, you also cannot say a information or an advice. Okay, if you want to make these words singular in English, then you can use um, a phrase like a bit of or a piece of. So you can say a bit of information or you can also say a bit of advice or you can say a piece of advice. Okay, so that's there are my tips for today. Um, I hope that they help you. You know, if you want advice, more advice or more information about learning English, then subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want to make a lot of progress in your English, then keep watching these videos. You know, that'll help you. And yeah. Um, if you like my hair, then like the video as well.